My name is Spencer Martin. I am Director of Athletic Bands at the University of Idaho. I am also here with the help of Vader Percussion. And uh, I've been asked, we're going to talk just real fast about brushes. Now, here is my caveat. There are so many brilliant brush videos by brilliant brush players online that um, this is just kind of a quick thing. There's so many awesome techniques. This is just one that has worked for me that I hope that can work for you and work for your students. Um, but talking about, about ballads, those are really difficult for young students to play for a multitude of reasons, but even just kind of finding a, a great pattern that will work. And this is just one pattern that, that I have always enjoyed and I, I have, many of my students have used well successfully. When you're thinking about the brush, you need, there's, there's the tip of the brush and there's the flat of the brush. And students get the most control when they keep the, the brush actually quite low to the drum because you can get the tip and without having to change the angle very much, you can get, you can get that brush. And that's kind of where the, that flat, excuse me, that's where you get the beat, where you get the sound of that flat. And the technique that I have found that I think uses, that works the best is if you think of this as like a clock face. And for certain beats, the brush is going over a different part of the clock. And for, for this kind of basic brush beat, we're going to be going in circles like this and our right hand is going to go in a circle like this. And we're doing a ballad and it's, it's doing the flat of the brush at the top of the clock on every beat. One and a uh, two and a uh, three and a uh, four and a uh, one and a uh, two and a uh, three and a uh, four and, and I'm just in kind of a pseudo match grip down here. I typically play brushes kind of traditional grip, but I'm going to show it since this, again, if you're going to teach this to younger students, you're going to want them to use the technique that you've been teaching them. So I'm going to do this both match grip right now. My left hand brush is actually going to be the exact same spot on the exact same on the exact same time. One and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, let's put those together. One and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four. And it's kind of like ice skating when you're not just changing the angle to get that that uh, flat sound. It's just skating over the ice. It's just nice and relaxed. One and a uh, two and a uh, three and a uh, four and a uh, one and a uh, two and a uh, three and a uh, four. So that will work as a great basic bow, but there's some variations. I actually like to cross this one over the top. I'm going to go back a little bit to how I normally play. One and a uh, two and a uh, three and a uh, four and a uh, one and a uh, two and a uh, three and a uh, four. Notice I'm trying to use as much of the drum space as I possibly can. One and a uh, two and a uh, three and a uh, four and a uh, one and a uh, two and a uh, four. Now, if you want to get that kind of skip beat sound, is you can pop this one out, and you'll see where that's at. One and a uh, two and a uh, three and a uh, four and a uh, one and a uh, two and a uh, three and a uh, four and a uh, one and a uh, two and a uh, three. Now, I'm just bringing that across, just pushing it down and getting the flat of that brush. One and a uh, two and a uh, three and a uh, four and a uh, one and a uh, two and a uh, three and a uh, four and a. Uh. What's kind of cool is you can use it even for a little some faster grooves. But anyway, just basic basic ballad. Thank you.